Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to paint this Easter Bunny project. I purchased this bisque unpainted from wrapitup.com and I'll show you the name of that website on the next slide. I like this website because it shows all the items painted and it's really easy to order from. And for this project, you will need the Kimple Intense Translucents, and you can buy them at GlacerCeramics.com. And again, I'll show you the name of that website um, on a slide here in a minute. Step one is to prime and base coat your piece, and I primed it in Liquitex Agesso. Uh, normally I use Kimple's primer, I really love their primer, but I'm all out so I use this one, and this is a good product too. And then I um, base coated it in an acrylic white, and I don't really have a preference for my acrylic colors. kind of do favor the Americana brand, I like the consistency of it, but um, the truth is they kind of all work the same. So, um, so like I said, you want to be sure to prime it and base coat it. And you can watch my, I have a video on uh, those two steps if you want more details on how to do that. I'm going to cover the top with a cloth rag so that as I'm working um, it'll stay nice and clean. My hand will be touching it up here. My hands always get dirty. And then I just use a ponytail holder to hold it down. I'm going to antique the entire piece in Kimple's um, Antique Brown, I believe it is. And I'm just going to use um, a real soft brush and just a, a lar bit larger, just uh, to fit the piece. If you use a real small brush it will just take you a long time. So I'm going to start at the neck and then we'll work down. We'll do a section at a time uh, just because of the size of the piece. And with the Kimple colors they all work the same. Uh, you brush it on. It's not the brushing on process. It's the pulling back. So when you brush it on, you always brush it on, you just slop it on, don't need to be careful at all, and it's the pulling back that's going to create the great shadows, uh, it's going to leave the color in the cracks. And so in this stage, just slop it on, you just want to make sure that all the white is covered up completely. Okay, you can set your color aside now, and so now we're going to start pulling back. And you'll want to use a soft cotton rag. Do not use a paper towel. A paper towel is too rough, and it'll come off. So, again, this is a large piece, so uh, just start pulling back. And you don't need to worry too much um, about scrubbing really hard to get it all back, because we're going to use a product that will help pull it back. So this is kind of just going to take that first layer off and just keep switching to a clean area and just uh, pull back as best you can. Like I said, you don't need to sit there and scrub on it because in a minute I'm going to switch to a product that will help us get it back almost to the white. Okay, this is the best that I could get it with just a rag. And you can see that it's sloppy, it kind of got on the feet here. Don't worry about that. Uh, it's all going to get covered up. So, Next, I'm going to use my favorite product to help pull, pull back. It's Americana Drying Time Extender. 
I can just buy this at my local craft store, so hopefully you can find it either at a local store or I'm sure it's available on the internet. So on a clean rag, make sure it's clean, just put a little bit of it on. It really doesn't need a lot. And then just uh, wipe it on. And the minute that it starts to touch it, it's going to start pulling back right away. Um, Kimpo has a product that's meant to help pull back, but I didn't find that it did anything and this is by far uh, it's the only product that I use and I really really like it well, the minute it touches it it'll start uh, helping it white back and you can almost get it back to the original white so you're just gonna go to put a little bit of it on go to a clean spot Again, just lightly touch it. You don't even really need to press hard. And it's going to start wiping it back, and it'll leave the dark in the crevices, which is where you want it. So this is what it looks like pulled back with a drying time extender. And this is a large piece, so don't get discouraged. Just hang in there and just keep working it. And with the Kimple Colors, you can actually, um, if you get interrupted, you could actually just walk away from this, uh, even when you had originally put the brown on, and uh, come back to it the next day even. And as soon as you use that drying time extender and it gets it wet, uh, it's going to come off and you're going to be able to get it all the way pulled back. Uh, like this. So don't worry that, um, you know, about getting interrupted. Um, the Kimple colors are really easy and very forgiving to work with. So I'm going to finish antiquing this and then pull it back and then we'll continue on. So this is what it looks like antiqued and the nest I did leave in the uh, that darker antique look when you just pull it back with the rag and um, but otherwise I use the drying time extender to help get it back but you can see the feet are darker and that's okay um, so the last part is the head just like before full strength <clears throat> and just be sure to cover up all white areas you don't want any white areas to be showing through. It's important to make sure you don't have any. It's, it's really hard once you've moved on if there's white showing through to uh, go back and cover that up. So just like before, take your rag and pull it back. And just like before, I'll use that drying time extender. Get a little bit of it on your cloth. And rub it on and just pull back a little bit more. Let this sit overnight so that it can dry uh, because we're going to want to put a rag back over the head as we work it and that way it'll give it time to dry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on um, her little dress and what you're going to do is you're going to take Kimple's Amethyst and you're going to water it down. I'm using a palette here and just add some water to it. Sorry, you can't see that. Tip it very well. And then you're going to add some white to it and just kind of get a, a lighter version of the color. 
and using a brush that fits the piece um, just dip it in that mixture of water and the lighter purple brush it on full strength don't worry too much about getting close to the edge because we're going to do something different for the edge so uh, don't don't get too worried about that don't spend time trying to get it up to the edge take a clean rag clean spot on your rag pull it back and this first time that we're doing it it's kind of just going to help pull off that brown underneath just to get it a little bit cleaner so just scrub it back Oh, actually that's looking really good so um, if on your piece when you pull it back it's muddy and not pretty then uh, pull it back hard uh, don't don't uh, use that uh, drying time extender to do that uh, whatever it looks like just leave it as is and just put another coat on and then the next time just gently go in circles and that should create, I can even do that. Although this, like I said, this is really pretty. But on yours, if it's a little bit muddier, again, just coat it again. Don't worry about the edges. And then take your rag, clean spot, and just in soft circles, pull it back don't scrub this time and that should leave just a real pretty soft lavender color okay uh, so then I finished that little area so next using the Kimple color full strength don't water it down don't change the color um, just along the edge brush it on then using the rag a uh, clean part of your rag go up and down Be sure that you go up and down and it's going to spread that color out and soften it. And then you can see it's a little bit rough or too bold and so again switch to a clean part and do the same thing. And each time that you do this, it's going to soften it even more. What you don't want to do is go that way. Always go up and down. And then always switch to a clean part of your rag. And then just keep working it until you get the look that you want. Oh, I like that, that's nice and soft, but yet it leaves a real nice dark edge. So for the small area, I'm going to try to go in with my finger and the cloth. We'll see how it works. So again, that up and down motion. Well, that's a pretty small area, so I'm going to switch to a Q-tip. And you do the same thing, back and forth. And switch to keep switching to a clean side of your q-tip switch to a clean side and then just keep working it keep the getting a clean q-tip keep going to a clean part of the q-tip
and it'll just create a really nice soft edge while leaving that nice dark you can even fluff up your q-tip that'll help so that's what it's going to look like this is what the dress looks like painted purple and now what I am going to do on this piece it has I don't know if you can see it but little lines and I do love those and so I, I really do want those to pop more so I am going to use that drying time extender on a q-tip and pull those back pull those back until they start to appear white then it'll just make them pop more for her apron we're going to be using Kimple's Evergreen, Kimple's uh, Sunshine Yellow. I'm going to start with the yellow. The yellow is going to go on the top, bottom's going to go, so we're going to go work from light to dark. <clears throat> so just glob it on. And I guess as best you can avoid the bird houses and the flower, but otherwise, Paint it on the yellow until you get to the flowers in the middle. And the buttons um, leave as is for now. I forgot to tell you how I did the middle. And so using as flat of a brush that you have, put some Kimple yellow on it. Just a little bit. You do not need a lot and your brush will become nice and flat and then at a strong angle like scraping a peanut butter jar just catch those edges in the middle and then take a rag clean spot on your rag and pull back and it's gonna really brighten up all those edges but yet it'll leave that nice brown underneath. So that's how I did the middle. For the flower, I'm going to do that full strength in Kipple's Amethyst. Just paint it on full strength. So I painted the flower full strength in Kipple's Amethyst, including the center. And take your rag, clean spot on your rag, and pull back. To brighten up the edges of the petal, use my favorite product, that drying time extender on a Q-tip. Just get it a little bit wet. It doesn't need to be wet a lot. And then just uh, touch the edges. Okay, with that same amethyst, let's do the birdhouse. And the chair. And on the chair you want that strong angle, like scraping a peanut butter jar. Using a clean spot on your rag, start to pull back. We'll switch over to a Q-tip, so if you can't, if it's uncomfortable for you on some of these areas, just do a Q-tip. And on the eggs, just do a round circular motion. 
You want the dark edges that will help create the illusion of a round egg. So for the flowers, and what I'm going to do is um, go over them in white. And so I'm going to use a flat brush and use an acrylic white. Doesn't matter, the brand name doesn't matter, just an acrylic white. Get a little bit of white on it and then go back and forth. And your paintbrush should be nice and flat with just a little bit of white paint on it. And then at that strong angle, like scraping a peanut butter jar, you're really just going to catch the edges. Hi, next we're going to tackle her feet. And the first thing we're going to do is use Kimple's Angel Flesh. Put it on full strength. As you do all the Kimple colors, uh, except avoid the crevices. Those we want to remain nice and dark. And then I'm also going to avoid the top of the foot. As you blend it in, um, it'll blend towards the top. Take your rag, nice clean spot on your rag, and then with that back and forth movement, start pulling it back. And then towards the top of the foot, go up and down towards the top of the foot. And the center, you're gonna go up and down towards the center. And this will brighten it up and give it a nice soft warm look. Okay, next we're gonna give uh, the rabbit some nice bright white toes. And using some acrylic white, again, brand doesn't matter. I just get a little bit on your brush and then wipe it back and forth. I guess you would call this a wet brush technique. If you were more comfortable doing a dry brush technique, that's fine too. And so at that strong angle, like a peanut butter jar, I'll just start catching any of the edges that are there. And go up as far, whatever your preference is. Leave the dark in the crevices. For the pot, we're going to begin by coating the entire thing in Kimple's Amber. I'll just take a brush that fits the piece that you're comfortable working with. And just like all Kimple colors, paint it on full strength. And you don't have to worry too much about getting close to the edges because we want that brown to stay there anyway. Using a clean spot on your rag, start pulling back and then toward at the edges, uh, like we did before, uh, go up and down and it'll leave a nice edge that's darker. Okay. 
This is what it looks like. Um, I pulled it back and then I used Kimple's Angel Flesh and just rubbed it on in a few spots that I wanted to highlight and kind of just create a different kind of look. The middle here I'm going to paint in an acrylic black so that it looks like there's a hole in it. So again, any kind of acrylic that you have doesn't matter. For the feathers in the nest, I'm going to take some of Kimple's Angel Flesh, clean spot on my rag, get some on the rag, just kind of smooth it around to smooth out the paint on it. And we're going to rouge, I guess, uh, the feathers. And so uh, just going to rub them. You're really just catching the edges just to brighten them up and the angel flesh is a great color to warm. It adds really nice warmth. And then I just so just rub it. And as it's pulling it back, it'll um, brighten up those edges. This is what the nest looks like. Um, I did go ahead and go over the feathers in a white. The angel flesh wasn't quite bright enough, so you know, just put a little bit of on, clean spot on your rag and rouge it, catch those edges. And then I splatter painted the eggs in white, just an acrylic white, and you just splatter it. So let's move on to the final piece of this project, the head. I already did the face, and I'll show you how I did that. So I'm going to do it in that Kimple's angel flesh first and then go over it in white. So using the angel flesh, full strength, just like we did on the rabbit's feet. Just put it on full strength. And then you don't need to do the edges because we want that to remain dark. So you can kind of get close to it because we're going to go that up and down motion to blend it in. Then a clean spot on your rag. Tip it upside down just so it's next to me. On the inside, just go up and down. the rest of it just pull it back and I didn't clean up my brush I just left it dirty just maybe wipe it out a little bit And clean spot on your rag, pull back, go up and down on that inner part, and then just pull back the rest. Next we're going to do some blush on the face. So I just mixed up some Kimple White with the tiniest bit of Kimple Prim Rose. I just used a brush on a paper plate, mixed it together. And so we're gonna brush this on. Brush it on um, around the, kind of the bottom portion of the mouth and the cheeks and then on the inside of the ears. And using a spot on clean spot on your rag, 
kind of gentle, gently using circular motions, pull this back. It'll just create a really soft blush. Do the same thing to the inner ears. Using an acrylic black, again, any kind of acrylic will do. As I said before, I don't care about my acrylic, so just whatever acrylic you have. Paint the eyes and the nose black. Okay, so the bunny rabbit is done. Uh, for the eyes, I painted them black, and then I did two little highlight dots, and you should always do those in the 2 o'clock position. Always be sh sure to do it um, in the 2 o'clock position on both eyes. That will look the most natural. And if you mess it up, just paint it over in black and try it again. Um, so I hope you, well, I guess the final thing is that you do want to seal it. You'll just seal it with um, a polyurethane spray. This year I picked up at my local craft store. You can get polyurethane spray at hardware stores. Um, again, I don't have a preference for brand, just whatever you can find. And so you'll spray it, and it'll be sealed, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it inspires you to try out the Kimple Colors.